Hey chickens, let's talk about cleaning up in ceramics. Everybody makes a mess and everybody pulls their weight around here to clean up. When it's cleanup time, first you're gonna clean up the area you've been working in. And then after you're finished cleaning the area you've been working, you and your team of five other table mates will be responsible for one area of the classroom. In this video, I'm gonna show you those areas. All right, the first job you might have for two weeks is the kiln room sinks. These are located by the front door on your way out towards the kiln room. You're gonna to need to grab a white scraper and scrape the big, big chunks away from the drain up the side of the wall and just dump them in the big trash can that's literally located right next to the sink. These guys tend to take the biggest beating when it comes to making messes here in ceramics. So it's really key that we prevent clay from going down the tubes, down the sink there. So scrape it away and dump it. Next, you're gonna do some organizing. Get all those sponges off the floor of the sink and put them on the drying rack. Just sort of organize the tools and random stuff that's in there. You won't be alone. You're gonna have five other people on your team to do these jobs, so work together. We're a team sport here in ceramics, remember? Each of these jobs will only last two weeks, so it'll be over before you know it. And extra brownie points for wiping the outside. Next, we have the sixth street sinks. Say that six times fast. It's the same deal over here. The only difference is when you scrape out the clay chunks from the bottom of the sink, you're gonna put them in the little trash cans right below the sink here. Make sure this sink gets extra love too. Make sure no chunks go down the hole and tube. Wipe it down so it's kind of shiny and looking pretty. Um, organize the sponges on the drying racks and make her look pretty. All right, the glaze room. In this zone, you are in charge of making sure that all the glaze buckets have their lids on. If the lids are off, you gotta make sure you plop them on there tight, as tight as you can, or at least covering the surface area as much as you can. We don't want the glazes to dry out. That would be bad. Next, you're gonna take a look ski over here in the sink zone. Organize and put things away where they belong. Um, give it a little wishy-washy. Wipe down the sink area and wipe down the table. Next is the floor and the little trash cans. We've got two by the kiln room sink, two under 6th street sink, one next to the wedging table, one next to the plastic, one under the sink in the glaze room, and one under the sink in the clay mixing room. All of those need to get picked up at the end of the period and dumped into the large trash can by the front entrance. If there's no trash to dump, you can grab the scraper on a stick located by the front trash can and scrape up any little clay chunks that might have <laughs> fell on the floor. Scrape! Pick up any random tools you might find around and put those away. And toss those clay chunks you scraped up in the trash. Now, loose tools and organizing. All the tools in the blue bin tool zone should be put where they belong. So at the end of the day, everyone should be putting their things back in the proper bins, but they don't always do that. So take a look, Ski, and if you see anything that's out of place, put it in the proper bin. That doesn't go there. Then run over to the sink, grab a clean sponge, and wipe down the countertop. Be sure to look in the sinks for loose tools and put those away. And lastly, this is the wedging table. And this is the slip table. When you have these jobs, you have both these tables. They're really easy peasy. The wedging table just needs to get scraped down so there's no crumbs and chunks 
left over at the end of the period. And the slip table just needs to be wiped down on the top and just kept organized. So familiarize yourself with where stuff kind of goes down there. There's a zone for slip trailing and slip transfers. There's a zone that's big jars of slip, colored slips. And then there's these buckets full of slip for attaching and buckets for throwing on the wheel. Make it look good. But Miss T, how do I know what my job is? It is assigned to your number at your seat on the seating chart. So look at your number where you sit and find it on the cleanup jobs list located uh, by the whiteboard at the other side of the classroom. So number 20, uh-oh, you got kiln room sinks, but it's okay. Just tell February 17th, no bigs. Our janitorial staff are superheroes and it's our responsibility to maintain the studio. And you can thank your classmates as well as our support staff for having a great place to do ceramics.